Greetings and thank you for giving us the opportunity to come to you this week and spend a few moments each day in God's Word and prayer. This week, we're going to talk about overcoming guilt. As we journey through life, different things happen. Sometimes we make some serious mistakes. We do wrong things. We do things we're not supposed to have done which we regret later and we feel bad about. Sometimes things happen which are probably beyond our control, outside our control. Other people are involved, other situations happen. And um, all of these things could leave believer in a place of feeling very guilty about themselves. So deep inside, there is a sense of feeling, I'm not worthy, I'm not unfit, look what I have done. And there's that deep sense of guilt. And that is not a life or that is not a place that we should stay in. And that's not a place that God wants us to be at. Now, I'm not saying that we should never take responsibility for our actions. We must learn from our mistakes, of course, take responsibility for actions. But there is no need to remain in a place of guilt. And so this week, we're going to address this subject and how to overcome guilt. I just want to share some biblical insights that will help us overcome guilt. The first thing, a very basic thing, is to know that we are cleansed. The Bible tells us very simply, in 1 John chapter 1, verse 7, verse 9, it says that if we walk in the light as He is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, God's Son, cleanses us from all sin. And if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So, the fact of the matter is, we've all done wrong things, made mistakes, but what do we do? We go to God. We say, Lord, Jesus shed His blood for me. And I receive the cleansing power of His blood. And I confess, I'm not denying I've done something wrong. I accept I've done something wrong, but I confess my sin. I receive the cleansing power of the blood of Jesus. And the Bible says, He is faithful. He is just to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I mean, no matter how grievous the deed is, God is able to forgive. God is the ultimate church, and He's able to forgive us. So, sometimes people are not able to forgive us. People continue to say, that, remind us of our mistakes, of our wrongdoing. But the God of all the earth, He forgives and He cleanses. He removes the stain. He clears it all because of the blood of Jesus. So, we must receive that word, that we indeed are cleansed by the blood of Jesus. Be convinced about it. Receive it. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the assurance we have that the blood of Jesus Christ, God's Son, cleanses us from all sin, that we are cleansed, washed clean from all unrighteousness, and we receive it. We thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.